And if you don't have tender stem broccoli, you can do this with normally bro normal broccoli, normally broccoli, normally broccoli, normally 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 broccoli, broccoli normally. In this video, we're going to show you an incredible recipe for tandoori lamb neck. This underused cut of meat is super cheap, packed full of flavour, and really benefits from the high temperatures and dry heat that we find in Rockbox. So let's get going. First thing we're going to do is prep our lamb neck. These are lamb neck fillets, so there's no bone on these guys. They're all ready to go. So you'll see they have a lot of fat and a lot of sinew. You can leave a lot of the fat on, but the sinew we're just going to want to take off with a knife here. If you were doing this as a low and slow dish, so if you were doing this as a stew or something similar, you can leave most of this on and it's a really cheap, quick, economical cut for that sort of cooking. So exactly the same on the other one. Okay, so our lamb necks have been trimmed of any excess sinew uh, and any excess fat that we've got on there as well, and now they're ready to be marinated. So a tandoori marinade is normally yogurt, loads of spices, loads of salt, and some sort of citric acid. So we're going with lime here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get some garlic in there. So I've got two cloves of garlic here, and then we're gonna end up with about a tablespoon of ginger. And you can crush this if you want, but it's going into a pestle of mortar. So I would chop everything, because chopping's fun. Cool, so next up we're gonna put a whole red chili in. We're gonna leave the seeds in there as well. And now we can start getting some of our spices and herbs in. We're gonna start with the salt. So I've got one and a half teaspoons of salt there. And we're gonna start giving that a little pound with the pestle and mortar, because that salt's gonna start breaking down the garlic for us and breaking everything down. We're gonna to add to that now with half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Next up, we've got half a tablespoon of garam masala. So we're gonna be using that later with the broccoli as well. Garam masala is incredible. It's normally a finishing spice in curries. Next, we've got half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, half a tablespoon of cumin, Finally, half a tablespoon of ground coriander. So another little grind with those spices and it'll get really fragrant now. It smells incredible, it smells so good. And now we're just gonna add the lime juice. So we're gonna squeeze in the juice of a whole lime. So the acid that's in this marinade, as it works with that meat, it's gonna start breaking down the proteins in it. And if we leave the marinade on the meat too long, the meat will go mushy. Cool, so eventually we're gonna end up with this incredible smelling and looking paste. 150 grams of natural yogurt, and we're gonna add our paste to the yogurt. So we're just gonna put the marinade over the lamb and just rub that in really well all over. Okay, so we're gonna cover this guy in cling film, get him in the fridge for 24 hours, and then we're gonna fire up Rockbox and get him cooked. So 24 hours have passed, and our lamb has taken on all that incredible flavor. So we've had that out at room temperature for about 30 minutes, just to allow it to kind of come up so we get a nice even cook. And we've got a griddle pan here that we're gonna pop into a hot rock box to preheat. So our rock box is at 500 degrees or 900 degrees Fahrenheit, full flame, raging hot, ready to cook some lamb. So our pan is preheated, nice and hot. Now we're gonna get our lamb in. So we're gonna rub this guy with a little olive oil and then straight into the hot pan and into rock box. After a couple of minutes, we'll see this incredible char start to happen on the side nearest the flame. And we're just gonna to wanna to swap these guys around and straight back in. So all in all, we'll be cooking these lamb necks for around about six minutes, okay? We want these slightly pink in the middle. When we cook at these temperatures with this marinade, it means we can cook it in about six minutes and keep that lovely pink center as well to the lamb. Every now and again, just give them a little check, a little flip over. Okay, so those lamb necks are smelling incredible and looking really cool as well, really gnarly, really charred. So we're gonna pop those onto a plate, cover those guys with foil, and we're gonna leave them to rest for about five minutes just the amount of time we need to cook our broccoli. It's like a planned it, isn't it? We've got here 150 grams of tender stem broccoli and we're just gonna chuck that straight into our tray. And we're gonna drizzle that with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I've got a teaspoon of garam masala. We were talking about garam masala earlier. I'm gonna just shake that. <laughs> I was about to see that, yeah. Get a nice pinch of salt in there. So Rockbox is still raging hot, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is gonna go in for kind of two, three minutes. And it's just gonna char up really nicely. And it's gonna stay really nice and crunchy, really nice and al dente. And it is just gonna be a little flavor bomb in your mouth. You're gonna love this. So straight into Rockbox. If you bring the tender stem over to your bench and just give it a little toss around. If you don't have tender stem broccoli, you can do this with normal broccoli or even cauliflower florets. Just kind of cut them into small florets. Exactly the same, olive oil, garam masala into Rockbox. So that's been in there, all told, kind of about four, four and a half minutes. And we'll just leave that in there while we get the lamb ready, lamb back in. And we're gonna carve this into like thin slices. And this scales up really well. You can kind of fit four in a rock box if you've got a pan that's big enough. So just double the recipe, do four at once. So with the lamb, we're just gonna rip over a handful of coriander leaves and exactly the same with some mint leaves as well. 
And those fresh herbs over the top just give off the most amazing smell when they mix with the lamb. One more toss in the pan for the broccoli, which during that time while you're carving the meat is cooked perfectly now. So we've taken a super cheap, massively underused cut of lamb, the neck fillet. We've marinated that in the yogurt with all the delicious spices, herbs, the lime, all that stuff. And then we've cooked it super fast in Rockbox, giving us this incredible char on the outside, with this beautiful pink tenderness in the middle as well. We've then cooked that broccoli really fast in Rockbox, charred the edges, crisped up, whilst keeping it nice and al dente in the middle. So you can see we've still got this beautiful kind of pink tone to the center of the lamb. That is tender as anything, and that is kind of a fraction of the price of a lamb chop or a lamb rack. Serve it with some rice, some yogurt, some flatbreads, and with friends, serve it with friends. That sounds cheesy, doesn't it? And as we always say, if you're making these recipes, which you definitely should be, because they're delicious, if you're making any of these recipes, hashtag us, Gosney Kitchen, Instagram, Facebook, all those things, we want to see what you're doing. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel as well. We've got loads of exciting stuff coming this year, and we look forward to sharing it with you.